Hey guys, welcome to my tutorials. In last video, we have seen that uh, using count tips, how we can get the number of counts uh, coming in the range. Means numbers coming in the range of uh, 1 to 10, 11 to 20, like this counts we can get by using count tips. For each count, we have to enter this formula individually. So, alternative for this, uh, in short, we can get in one shot all the details like uh, here in next example we are going to enter the same data and uh, we'll use the frequency formula okay so by using this we can get these data immediately so let's check with that so here we go like uh, we have to enter the name of the students uh, for example i entered student one two like this I have to we have to drag from that corner like a 50 students i have to enter and these marks have already entered from range 1 to 100 okay in between the range of 1 to 100 next we will write down the range so 1 to 20 21 to 30 31 to 40. Here, by keeping the 20 difference, we have added the number range here. Here, upper limit will set like 20, 40, 60. Here, it is the 41 to 60. Okay, 60, 80, and final one is 100. So, next count, if you want to get like here. We'll select this and we have to write down equal to frequency here we can drag from this to this cell that is B2 to B51. Or else we can write down directly here b2 colon to b51 directly and we can write comma here it is showing the view of the formula now simply select the upper limits and close the bracket hold control shift and press enter here we'll get the range count okay from this upper limit if we check and cross check here like a 20 1 to 20 how many numbers are there 5 1 2 this one is 3 4 5 6 Seven, eight, nine. Okay, nine result we got by counting. Here we get the nine. So this is the simple frequency formula we can use to get this one. Or else you can uh, without <laughs> pressing the control shift enter we can uh, add the flower brackets at the both side. Else, can hold control shift and press enter to get the result. Thank you, guys. Thank you for watching. We'll uh, go through the next example in next video.